Hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this Python tutorial we're going to be covering a video that I did previously except it a little bit different. So I did a Pygame resizing screen tutorial that did full screen and this one I'm going to be doing it so that you can resize the window as in like drag it out using the sidebars and make it larger or smaller depending on um, what size you want it to be and user wanting it to be. Um, and I'm going to do this in two parts because I have a simpler way of doing it and then a more complex way of doing it simple way being just an image that resizes within this and then the second one being um, a rectangle being resized uh, using some calculations that you have to do um, I'll link the old video up in the top of this video and the next video um, just for your uh, reference if you want to go back and look at it but um, yeah let's get into it so first of all what you want to do ahead and do is you want to uh, import Pygame. You then want to import, uh, oh sorry, you want to then go from uh, pygame.locals uh, import all and then you want to go ahead and initiate Pygame. Dot init. Um, and then we want to go ahead and uh, write our screen. So our screen is going to be um, pygame.display.com set underscore mode um, and this is pretty standard this is generally the standard way you do it anyway um, so five, 500 by 500 and that's going to be the default screen size and then we're going to go ahead and define a couple of other things so we got HK surface um, we have um, double <coughs> double buff with one F and then we also have um, resizable, so that's pretty much just the window. Um, um, what's the way to put it? The window variables or um, edits. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, so this makes it so that you can resize that window. Otherwise, it's fixed size. You know that sort of thing. Um, then we want to go ahead and we want to define our picture. So we're going to go ahead and go pygame dot uh, image dot load and then in here we're going to put uh, example image dot png um, which I've already saved into the folder that this uh, file is within so when I run this file it will automatically load that fo file that's already in there if you don't you want to go and put one in your folder um, so that you can test this out um, oh. Um, so pretty much just any image that is a .png or you can convert one that isn't PNG to PNG um, and then save it in the same folder that your script is in. And then we want to go ahead and screen.blit and we want to go uh, pygame.transform.scale um, um, pick to 500 by 500 and put it at position 0, oh, zero, zero. where's this one here Is that one uh, sorry I just have to work out these brackets here uh, yep that's correct all right pi game dot display dot flip so pretty much what you're doing here is you are transforming the image to the same size as the screen so when you resize the screen it's going to stay full screen image on that window um, and then you're updating that window then we want to go ahead and make a loop so while true we want to go ahead and go pygame dot event dot pump uh, and then we want to go event equals um, pygame dot event dot wait and we, go, we want to go if event um, dot type is equal to quit with capitals we want to go pygame dot 
display dot quit and that's just going to close out of the window if we hit the x in the top corner that makes it easier to close the program if we're no longer wanting it open um, otherwise you have to go into task manager in task and that sort of stuff or close it from the uh, toolbar on the bottom of your screen so then we want to go elif event dot type oh, my wrist is getting a little sore from the keyboard layout sorry <laughs> uh, if it is video resize um, we want to go screen uh, equals pie game dot display dot set underscore mode oh not sir mode set underscore mode and then we want to go event dot dict uh, and we want to go in square brackets and commas size and then we just want to grab the same stuff from up here and chuck it in there so that's just going to resize the screen to whatever size the event has changed it to and then what we want to go ahead and do is we want to uh, screen dot blip pi game dot transform dot scale and then we want to go ahead and we want to uh, change the size of the picture so picture event dot dict size oh that's not right size um, and then we also want to go ahead and go comma and we want to place it at zero zero the top corner at zero zero <coughs> and then also we want to go ahead and go pi game dot display oh god i can't type today can i flip and that's just going to update that screen again so if we want to go ahead and run this now oh we have an error uh, i have typed split wrong there uh, we don't actually need the command line for this or the console for this because it's going to pop up a window which you can see is here so i've used this example image um, if we resize it, it's going to resize that image to whatever size the sc oh, the screen is. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to grab it here with the recording. Uh, but if we resize it, you can see it's just going to resize the image within the window. Um, so that pretty much covers this first part where we cover the resizing of a single window with an image within it. Um, and keeping it at full screen uh, in the next video we'll go and play around a little bit with um, shapes so obviously drawing a rectangle in the center of the screen and then making it resize depending on the changing of the window um, other than that i'm pretty sure i've explained most of the code so we've got the imports standard imports uh, the standard initiate we've got the screen uh, instantiate which we have our uh, extra uh, values that we want to be um, applicable to that window. We then have our image load and our image scale transfer to make it full screen. Um, and we want to update that screen. We then have our loop, our pie game pump and event uh, variable. So that's just grabbing all the events and waiting for them um, and storing them within a variable so we can check for them within the if statements. And then we're checking for a quit statement so we can use that top ex uh, exit bar. Um, as you can see from running it, again, if I close that, it will close it. Um, and then we also have our LF event type equals video resize. So that's resize on the screen. We then change our screen size to this new, the new screen size to update it and then we also transfer that picture within it and then we update the screen again um, so i hope this has helped you stay tuned for the next video which is going to be the second example of this uh, with the calculations that are a little bit more complex um, and obviously resizing actual things within it so you can make a game that actually resizes or you can make uh, menus that will actually resize that sort of stuff um, and make it a lot easier for you to um, do that sort of stuff 
but yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye all right hello there guys um you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that'd be a great help to my channel um if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um like the video to show your support uh to me so that i can know whether you like the content that i'm making um and yeah hope to see you in the